In the treacherous world of bugs, there are many ways to meet your doom. When a velvet worm tangles with a harvestman, it's all-out chemical warfare. On the moist forest floor, an ancient hunter stalks its prey as it's done for 500 million years. The velvet worm is an all-terrain terror, flowing across uneven ground on hydraulic legs. Each one is tipped with a retractable claw for better grip. Tiny bumps on the body, called papillae, repel water, keeping the worm dry as it navigates its wet, humid world. Each of the wart-like bumps on its body has a bristle at the tip that acts as a mechanoreceptive sensor. What this means is that the velvet worm is constantly monitoring its environment with its skin. It looks harmless enough, but the only soft thing about the velvet worm is its name. They're voracious predators. Velvet worms can grow up to four inches, and they can capture animals right up to their own size. This puts a very large amount of different creatures on their menu list. With a top speed of less than two inches per second, it's not able to chase down a meal. But who needs speed when you possess one of the bug world's strangest and most effective long-range weapons? On either side of its head, modified legs called oral tubes fire twin jets of viscous slime. Caught in the sticky blast, the target is immobilized by biological glue. This slime sprite jacket is about 90% water. But as the water evaporates, the proteins in the slime start to tangle and form tight chemical bonds. This becomes springier, stickier, and harder by the second. This is such a cunning natural design. The velvet worm isn't the only wily fighter in the forest. The Harvestman also has a few tricks up its very long sleeves. You'd think to look at a Harvestman that it's a spider, but these guys aren't spiders at all. They don't have venom, they don't have a sting, they don't produce silk. Harvestmen are pretty much characterized by legs. Those long limbs give it critical clearance in a close fight and its spiky exoskeleton makes it a tough foe to tackle. And when it comes to victims, the Harvestman isn't fussy. Spiked feelers called pedipalps grab and hold the prey, while claw-like mouthparts rip and tear at the flesh. And when under attack, the harvestman wields its own chemical weapon. The way many harvestmen defend themselves is with stinky glandular secretions that can spray or ooze onto the predator. When these chemical combatants collide, it's stealth and stickiness versus stench on stilts. Next. Armored attack versus worm warfare. Then, a callous killer confronts a silent stalker. And later, an armored Amazon takes on a rainforest wrecking ball. In the Central American rainforest, a velvet worm hunts for prey. Close by, 
a long-legged harvestman, is also prowling for food. Neither will back down. The velvet worm has slime guns and razor-sharp mouth parts. The harvestman boasts claw-like mandibles and a foul defensive spray. Which one will live to fight another day? This contest is between two very different approaches to survival. Strong offense versus strong defense. Heavy weapons versus heavy armor. With the worm in its sights, the harvestman moves in for the kill. I think the harvestman has lots and lots of advantages, but it's got to get in close. But it's too close. The worm gives it both barrels at point-blank range. The harvestman struggles, but thrashing only tightens its slimy bonds. It's the glue from hell. Now that's what I call chemical warfare. It may go everywhere. Half of it may miss the target, but wow. That is a prey capture technique that's impossible to upstage and very difficult to escape. The harvestman is in serious trouble. All it can do at this point is back off and see if it can groom the glue off. But it's nasty. With its victim pinned and defenseless, the Velvet Worm switches to safe cracker mode, looking for a way into its meal. Like hellish cookie cutters, the powerful mandibles start sawing through the Harvestman's armor. Eventually, the worm injects its toxic saliva. The saliva that the velvet worm is injecting contains mucus and also hydrolytic digestive enzymes that are pre-digesting the food outside of its body. So all it has to do now is sit back and suck it up. Things don't always turn out the way you'd expect in the bug realm. You can have all the weapons in the world, but slow and sticky often wins the race.